Hi everyone, my name is Mia. I'm a wildlife photographer and filmmaker. Today I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about the Ninja Ultra Monitor together with the Sony C Media Cloud integration that's enabled by the Atmos Connect. What this does, it uploads the files directly from my camera to the cloud instantly. Before we get into the step-by-step -step workflow, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the Ninja Ultra Monitor and why I love working with it so much. With a big and bright display, I can easily frame my shots exactly the way I want. The focus peaking and zoom tool ensure clarity and prevent surprises in post-production. I can also quickly review the footage and set in and out points to highlight my favorite shots to speed up my editing process. Plus, its light and compact design perfectly complement my on-the-go lifestyle. Now I'll walk you through how to connect the Atmos monitor to C Media Cloud. To get the integration set up, you'll first need to attach the Atmos Connect to the monitor. Now connect the monitor to the camera. You also need to create an account with Atmos Cloud and C. Once your accounts are set up, connect the monitor to Wi-Fi. Then connect it to Atmos Cloud by going to the Connect tab and selecting Pair. Now go to Atmos Cloud on your browser and click the button that says Pair Device. Enter in the three words that have been generated on your monitor screen and you're all set. Next, add C as a destination in your Atmos Cloud by clicking on Add Destination and selecting C Media Cloud. Authenticate the connection and select the folder that you want your footage to be stored in. Now that everything is connected, let me tell you about my favorite features of C. C is a collaborative hub for my creative team and clients. They can join a creative process by leaving comments, draw, annotate, and even mark specific points in a footage that need attention. Organizing my footage is always a work in progress, so I love that C makes the process super easy. It organizes my content, enriching them with metadata, and makes finding specific content a breeze. And finally, there's MediaBox. With file, proxy, and folder link sharing, I can securely share content for preview and delivery in any format I would like. I can also set expiration dates, manage who downloads my content, and allow members to view and make comments. This is a great way to get feedback from clients in a fast and secure way. All right, so that was it. I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope that you'll be able to use this workflow in your own production process. For now, I've left some links in the description below and a promo code for you to use. And I'll see you next time.